Okay. Let's start, guys. Today's uh, introductory session is going to be a short one. Basically, we are going to get an idea as to how we will, we would be moving ahead in the next ten days as part of this particular session, current affairs destroyed, and how we would be learning current affairs of past two years in limited span of time. Let me share uh, the screen with you guys. Is the screen uh, visible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dikra hai na? Dikra hai? Dikra hai? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. So. Let's start with an example from the 2021 prelims uh, question. Mm. Sharad, can you read the question being shown on the screen? Sir, one second, I am having some technical issue. Edha, can you read it? Uh, with reference to Mandana Palle of Andhra Pradesh, which one of the following statement statements is correct? A. Pingali Venkaya designed the tricolor Indian national flag here. B. Patabhi Sitaramaya led the Quit India movement of Andhra region from here. C. Rabindranath Tagore translated the national anthem from Bengali to English here. D. Madam Blavatsky and Colonel Olcott set up headquarters of Theosophical Society first here. So uh, let's for a moment ignore that this question was asked in 2021. If I present this question before you now, does it seem something out of the box, something out of the blue that we have no idea about or we haven't read? Palash, yes. Sharad? Yes. Sir, uh, the flag one we had read about, but other points I've never... I think Theosophical Society, we have some idea, but other than that, it seemed like... You had some idea, but other things you have had, hadn't read. Palash, yes. Sharad, what did you say? Dheeraj, Medha. Yes, sir. With respect to the place, we have never read about this place as such. Otherwise, certain names in option A, B and also, D, there is some familiarity. Uh, All right, guys. All right. T uh, tell me the correct answer for this. C, Rabindranath Tagore. C, Rabindranath Tagore. C, Rabindranath Tagore translated the national anthem from Bengali to English here. So, yeah, certainly that is the correct answer. Now, let's see how UPC is framing questions. And that's exactly how we'll be following current current affairs in the subsequent 10 days workshop. Uh, can you read out this news piece aloud, uh, Muniratna? Yes, sir. Madanpalli is a town district, which was the part of Madhra Dinsi and is now in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, the title, is also the the title of the article. The philosopher. How our national anthem was composed and translated into English a century ago on this day. Okay. So, Madan, Madan Palle is a town. All right. All right, Munaratna. So this question that appeared to be a core modern history question actually had a current relevance. Now, uh, Dheeraj, can you read out the rule mentioned on the screen? Yes, sir. Yeah. Rule combination of event holds importance. Okay, what do you understand by this, Dheeraj? Shivani, uh, Pratishtha. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
so the rule the rule that we follow while drawing value from such news happenings such uh, news pieces is that commemoration of events holds importance this is how we linked current affairs to this question asked in 2021 and what could be the notable points out of this article that we could have preempted or we could have prepared ourselves for this question mm. sharad can you read out the notable points mentioned on your screen english rendering of the national anthem was done in madana palle by rabindranath tagore madana palle was part of madras presidency present day andhra pradesh tagore was also the chancellor of madras university he referred the translated version as the morning song of india musical notes were also provided to the national anthem here all right so drawing from this news piece we have derived these important points uh which are the most notable points this is the bare minimum we need to know now it's not that we have taken all the points from this single article but this single article acted as a reference point for us and using different sources these are the bare minimum points we need to know given the context and this is how we'll be following after each mcq in our sessions we'll be providing such notable points the bare minimum that we need to know about that particular aspect in news and then as you can see on your screen as just this is just an example additional reading you'll be provided links to the relevant newspaper articles links to the relevant government of india website links to the relevant uh, other relevant websites say for example britannica encyclopedia if you want to re have further reading on the topic you can use this additional reference links everyone is clear so far yes sir yes yes sir yes sir okay fine now let's take this question from environment again a 2021 prelims question uh kumar abhi abhishek please just read yes, the question which one of the following is a filter feeder a catfish b octopus c oyster d pelican catfish octopus oyster pelican all right uh, what is the correct answer here uh, c i think sir oyster oyster okay does it does it seem like a core static question from environment yes sir sharad muniratna does it appear to be a very static question a basic question no, from environment sir, i think it is from current events okay. now let's see the correct answer is oyster of uh, definitely now let's see this news piece that was there before the exam uh, abhishek can you read out the uh, title living sea walls bring back biodiversity to sydney harbor living sea walls bring back biodiversity to sydney harbor and there is subsequent information provided this is another screenshot uh from a similar article on the very topic uh abhi just read the highlighted portion many of the organisms are filter feeders like oysters and barnacles barnacles filter feeders like oysters and barnacles now if you look closely both these articles are from the indian express and on a date that was before the examination this was out there in news this particular question that appears as a core environment question was actually drawn from current affairs does it look a bit interesting now uh, sharad munjiratna yes sir all right now munjiratna uh, can you read out the rule given on your screen 
progressive impacts of different species are more likely to be asked progressive impacts of different species are more likely to be asked all right now let's read the notable points with respect to this aspect that was in news pranay pranay can you read this out please yes sir yeah uh specifically design panels uh, can be retrofitted on existing sea walls living sea walls many marine species colonize these panels filter feeders like oysters and barnacles improve the water quality oysters belong to the family uh, mollusca all right so again this is uh, not something very elaborate but the bare minimum that we need to know question is likely to be asked from this news piece from this article or this happening then it's more likely to be asked from among these points it's more likely that way and if you want to do some additional reading certainly such links here one link has been shown for your understanding multiple such links might be provided if need be okay everyone is clear so far Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes. Now uh let's take an example from the economy domain we took an example from history we took an example from environment both questions appeared to be static in nature drawn from core history drawn from core environment but in fact they had current affairs a direct linkage with current affairs now we are uh, moving into the economy domain and uh, sakshi can you read out the question in india the central bank's function as the lender of last resort usually refers to which of the following one lending to trade and industry bodies when they fail to borrow from other sources providing liquidity to the banks having a temporary crisis lending to governments to finance budgetary deficits uh, such that is the option also No. All right. What is the correct answer here, all of you? B. 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 Sir, B. B. Two only is the correct answer. That providing liquidity to banks having a temporary crisis, right? Okay. Now, uh, if I ask you, Abhishek and Pranay, again, it seems more of a static question. Doesn't it? Yes, sir. We find functions. Okay. okay. It pertains to functions of a regulator. Now, certainly, the correct answer is option B, two only. Now, let's have a look at this news piece. Uh, Palash, can you read out the uh, title here? Yes, sir. RBI should act as lender of the last resort provide liquidity to the nbfcs sbi rbi should act as lender of last resort and provide liquidity to nbfcs sbi now again this was there before the exam sbi asking rbi to act or fulfill its duty as lender of the last resort now uh abi kumar abi please just read out yes, the sir. rule mentioned here sir institu institutional organization uh, sir it's not a full clear here institutional uh, or organizational uh, imp impediments are more likely to be asked institutional or, or organizational impediments are more likely to be asked in other words if an organization if an institution is not able to fulfill its said mandate properly then that becomes a hot topic with respect to its likeliness to be asked in upsc the way here sbi is reminding rbi to fulfill its role as the lender of last resort now let's uh, look at the notable points out of this question shivani can you read out 
the notable points yes sir sure a lender of last resort provides emergency credit to financial institutions that are struggling financially and near collapse it typically acts as a lender of last resort to banks that no longer have other available means of borrowing okay, department just, of just non banking just hold on shivani yes, so sir. coming back to the question statement 1 and statement 3 automatically automatically gets negated here trade and industry bodies yes sir budgetary yes, deficits sir. right now start from point number 3 again shivani yeah department of non banking supervision of rbi is entrusted with the responsibility of regulation and supervision of nbfcs rbi has been empowered with under the rbi act 1934 to take punitive action against nbfcs nbfc cannot accept demand deposits nbfc do not form part of the payment and settlement system and cannot issue checks drawn on itself funny it it felt as if i am uh, uh, i am hearing some automated call from a call center the way you were reading sorry it. sir <laughs> it's okay okay actually that felt good so in short Thank first you. we have in short first we have seen what a lender of last last resort actually implies then the institutional structure how rbi has that mandate of dealing with nbfcs then lastly few basic details core details about nbfcs be it with respect to demand de deposits or it not being part of the payment and settlement system now this is the bare minimum if this uh, thing has been in news if sbi has made such a comment with respect to rbi this is the bare minimum these are the bare minimum notable points that we are expected to know and over and above this if you need now this is assuming this question was not asked in the exam this this is the way we should have been prepared for it for it and if you want to have more reading for on the topic you will have sir, such additional reading sources given as well so again a seemingly static question from economy drawn from current affairs is everyone clear so far yes sir yes sir yes sir thank yes, yes, you Now again, uh, such a question again from environment domain, which uh, was irritating for many many students, and uh, students thought that this was something out of the blue. Uh, Pratishta, can you read out the question? Yes, sir. Consider the following animals: hedgehog, marmot, pangolin, uh, to reduce the chance of being captured by predators. which of the above organisms rolls up roll up and protects protects its or their vulnerable parts all right all right so uh, let me ask you this question first uh, can i assume that many people among you have at least heard about pangolin earlier yes sir yes yes sir, yes. Yes, yes, sir. okay so sharad pala shivani pratishtha medha yes. Sakshi, Dhiraj, Abhishek, Munirathna. Yes, Most of you have heard about pangolin yes, earlier, right? Yes, sir. Okay, but the question yes, before sir. the students, but the question before the students was, how do they decide when it comes to marmot and hedgehog? Again, this is not something that was completely out of the blue. This was out there. And what is the correct answer for for this question? One and three, D. One and three is the correct answer, certainly. Yes. And let's see how it was out there. Mm, Sakshi, can you read out the first uh, screenshots title? Poaching of Madras hedgehogs for medicine raises alarm. Poaching of Madras hedgehogs for medicine raises alarm. Okay, this was. there in news poaching of madras hedgehogs 
and please just read out the highlighted section from the uh, second image they curl up into a ball when they feel threatened and uncurl only after the threat is gone it's their self defense he added okay so before going to the rule let me ask you again like those among you guys who found this question to be something out of the box out of the blue and some some sort of irritant was it really that an irritant or uh, we just tended to miss out miss it out from the current affairs studies tanay sharad medha there was similar article on uh, hindu on the hindu was also there related to pangolin and therefore in that other species were also mentioned so these were coming up ke some some uh, you know some specimens of a particular animal is being collected so ye aise news aa rahe the us time pe i think 2 mahine pehle hi 2 mahine pehle ab se nahi sir prelims jab hua tha prelims se 2 mahine pehle theek hai theek hai so certainly this this was in news and we have selected one news article to act as a representative of the news happenings going on at that point of time so hedgehog ke bare mein clarity thi sabko yahan pe or was there some confusion sir generally we don't aha uh-huh. generally we don't have any Uh, pay attention to behavior of species in news so maybe yeah like that we should also we go through species in news but not exactly pay attention to behavior so maybe we should also look at it all okay. right what you're saying is right but let's understand it in some greater detail now these were the news items uh, medha just read out the rule please species at man made risk are more likely to be asked species at man made risk not just at risk species at man made risk are more likely to be asked if you remember there was a question on red sandals earlier do you remember guys yes sir am am i audible to you yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. do you remember there was a question on red sandals a couple of years ago in the yes, prelims yes, yes sir again again owing to a large scale falling of trees that was again a man made risk to a particular tree species so following that same rule now let's understand as medha also said we don't give attention to behavior let's understand what notable points should we have been prepared for uh, palash can you read these points yes sir hedgehog is an insectivorous mammal second point its quills are used in a siddha medicine it is not protected under the wildlife protection act and fourth point is it rolls its body similar to the pangolin for protections all right as as meda said that be it specific to behavior or be it specific to x y or z element related to that particular species or that particular element in news so the bare minimum aspects that we were expected to know about this particular animal the madras hedgehog as uh, palash read it out hedgehog is an insectivorous mammal so it's a mammal basically its quill quills are used in siddha medicine it is not protected under wildlife protection act the question could have been different it could have been twisted and if it would have said that it's it is not protected under wildlife protection act we were more likely to mark it as wrong isn't it that would have act even more tricky for us fourth it rolls its its body similar to pangolin for protection again the bare minimum aspects you needed to know given the fact that this particular aspect of poaching of this particular animal was there in news it was there in the current happenings before the exam and for further reading certainly there is this link provided in this particular ppt theek hai make sense everyone 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 is clear so far yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay so this is this is the basic routine that we will be following 
first an mcq you will be presented with an mcq then after you answer the mcq you will be presented with the answer and then you'll be presented with the bare minimum points relevant or related to that particular thing in news and for your own further reading if you want to go into further reading you'll be provided with uh, additional links this is how we'll be moving ahead our sessions would be fast based and uh, will will be try will try to cover roughly 20 to 25 mcqs on a daily basis and tentatively we we are planning to keep it for 2 hours but uh, let's see uh, in the first and second session how it goes if need be we might have to alter the number of mcqs and the number of hours that we are uh, devoting to it we might have to split it into two if need be so that's how we will be moving ahead with this particular club okay any any uh, question from your side guys before we end this session anyone sharad sakshi shivani abhi medha um, so we are in the Sorry, Shivani. Uh, uh, sir, uh, let us speak. Then I will speak. No issues. Okay, Shivani, you may speak. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir, actually, I wanted to know that in these sessions, how many years current affair will be covered? How many years? We'll be covering yes, two years of current affairs in the sense we hmm. won't be going behind all the current happenings. all the uh, news things that are there out there as you saw we'll be moving in a rule based format right and sure, whatever sir. whatever news happenings follow that particular rule that becomes important for us and that's exactly how we can hope to clear current affairs that are relevant for prelims 2020 in a span of just 10 days because if we go on covering each and everything like even 100 days would not be sufficient i hope that makes sense shivani yes the only important things to rated ones that's better important and the more correct word would be exam relevant things hmm. okay yes okay uh, anyone someone else had a question so i was asking with respect to the newspapers i noticed that indian express is the one which you have picked up for most questions so should i switch to the newspaper like is it the something that it comes more from here and not from the hindu no that's not the case and i won't even ask which newspaper you are referring uh, by the way i can't see your name here is it is it sakshi yes sir okay sakshi see indian express has been provided here now again this ppt this presentation was for your understanding certainly indian express is a good source and things are provided in a way which are more exam friendly but i won't at the same point i won't say that other sources are not relevant because as you see here uh, if i have noted down a few points say for example the noted points for the lender of last last resort thing there are six points being mentioned here now this these have been drawn from various uh, newspapers these are drawn from various standard websites fine so the news happening will remain same but the subsidiary information that you need to know will have to be drawn from various other sources now that is my job if you ask me should i switch the newspaper that's not needed a similar is the case with this particular question hedgehog it's a mammal siddha medicine not protected under wildlife protection act uh, rolling up of body now you won't find this these things in a particular news article you will have to research for it right it will be a cross cutting research you'll have to read go go to multiple websites and then you'll be able to collect this information on your side okay. as a student no need to switch your newspaper fine sachin okay, thank you sir okay anyone else with any question 
क्वेश्चंस पूछो भाई नहीं तो ऐसा लगेगा कि कुछ समझ में ही नहीं आया तुम लोगों को आई फाइंड मॉडर्न हिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन क्वाइट अनप्रडिक्टेबल लाइक सो मेनी टाइम इवन ट्वेंटी वन देर इन द्रूप बट वी डिड दैट एज पार्ट ऑफ द लॉजिकल सेशन सो आई डो नॉट गेट इट कि वो कहाँ से दे देते हैं बिकॉज वी डोट स्पेक्ट्रम आई फॉलोड इट बट आई कूडन आंसर द क्वेश्चन ठीक है बट कुड यू रिलेट टू द क्वेश्चन दैट वॉज शोन टू यू इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रेजेंटेशन Yes, sir. I could relate to all of them, but I'm just talking when I'm solving the past years on my own, and then when I see, I can't see a pattern when it comes to modern history. That's because we haven't followed this particular approach at that point of time. Randomly, if we go to some history questions, and still we haven't read that particular article. Now, say for example, this particular article on Ravina Ramidana Tagore. Like, how many of you had already read this? or how many how many of you have seen it for the first time that, that there was such a article on rabina tagore the, out there how many of you saw it for the first time here i saw it for the first time yes, yes, i saw it for the first time sir i saw it for the first time first okay. times so majority of you have seen it for the first time although this is from 2019 like we said we will be doing two years of current affairs something if a centenary was commemorated in 2019 and this was asked in 2021 i hope you get the connect fine so going to random questions like this won't help we need to go through the proper procedure and that's exactly what we'll be doing in this particular club i hope that makes sense to you uh, sakshi and shivani uh yes sir so also in modern history i have noticed that only five to six questions are asked every year and that too is very unpredictable like uh my personal experience was that out of six questions asked i think six or seven questions were asked three i was able to solve and that two through tigram baki teen ka mujhe kuch pata nahi tha jabki maine spectrum padha bhi tha theek se to is bar i don't want to read spectrum though i have read it once or twice But I do not that's want a, to. That's a, that's a different thing, Shivani. That's individual to you. We'll discuss it in your mentorship call. Hmm. Okay, sir. Okay. Any any other question, guys, from this particular short interaction that we had? Anyone has any doubt? Any question? No doubt. No, sir. For me, all is clear. Just just give one second. Sorry, Sachi, you are saying something. I am thinking. One day, I am not remembering. But just, just give one second. I am thinking. Okay, याद करके इस क्लब के अंदर पूछ लेना आराम से. All right, guys. Let's let's end this short interaction here. From tomorrow, we'll be starting with the uh, chat based interaction, and the ten tentatively we'll start it at seven pm from tomorrow. And let's see how it goes. We'll change the uh, timing or the number of sessions. as per need all right guys then okay sir let's end it here thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir